excellent. I love the eggs and the cheese was lovely. Could I uh, get a second breakfast menu? Special is Limbus bread frittatas with a side uh, of... Uh, a menu? Like this, but for second breakfast? You know, after first breakfast? Yeah. Before eleven seas? Dozen sea cakes. Hobbits. Where am I going to get three dozen sea cakes? Maybe I can help. I'm Chris, steam specialist at Norman Public Library Central, and in today's episode of Librarians Will Eat Anything, I'll be making seed cakes inspired by J.R.R. Tolkien's classic novel, The Hobbit. I hear they also made it into a movie, but the book's not very long, so it must have been some kind of indie short or something like that. Anyway, she looks hungry. Let's go bake. Okay, the seed cake recipe I'm using today is from Cassandra Reader's The Geeky Chef Cookbook, available now on Hoopla, one of Pioneer Library System's digital ebook download services. Access is included with your Pioneer Library card. I've included the ingredients list in the video description on YouTube. To make the cakes, add two sticks of butter and a cup and a half of sugar to a mixer bowl and beat until light and fluffy. Bakers call this process creaming. The sharp little sugar crystals chop up the butter and work air into it, making it very light. Next, add two egg yolks and two teaspoons of vanilla extract and beat until well mixed. In a separate bowl, combine two cups of cake flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, one eighth cup of caraway seeds, a half cup of poppy seeds, and the zest of one orange, and mix well. In a separate bowl, beat two egg whites to soft peaks. Now, carefully fold the egg whites into the butter mixture, taking care not to deflate your carefully constructed foams. Now we have to combine everything with one cup of buttermilk. Add a bit of the dry ingredients and mix gently, then add a bit of the buttermilk and mix until combined. Repeat this process until you've mixed in all of the buttermilk and all of the dry ingredients. Grease a muffin tin and bake at 325 Fahrenheit for around 20 minutes, until set. Let them cool, then remove them from the pan. Um... Or not. These don't seem to be coming out. So, um, I guess remove as much as you can from the pan, then make the glaze. Add the juice from the orange you zested earlier, a half teaspoon of almond extract, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Next, add one tablespoon melted butter. Then, add enough powdered sugar to turn this into a glaze that's thick enough that it doesn't just run off, but thin enough that it will smooth itself out. I used about two cups of sugar for mine. Apply the glaze, then sprinkle with poppy seeds, and, um, voila! Guess my colleagues are getting half cupcakes today. Ah well, librarians will eat anything. Let's see what they think. I'm slightly disappointed because I was promised a whole cupcake and I think, I think I'm missing the bottom part of it. Oh, this is really good. Mmm. It's actually good. That's really good frosting. Mmm. Mmm. It's like sweet at first. And really crunchy. It's really good. It's really tasty. As promised, my colleagues do like their sugar. When I baked up the second half of the batch, not only did they not come out of the pans well, but they actually collapsed when baking. I guess the batter was actually too light and fluffy. Any suggestions for fixing it? Let me know in the comments. If you're interested in Tolkien's books or the movies based on them, visit pioneerlibrarysystem.org to search our catalog and reserve your copies today. And Yes, we do have all eight hours of Peter Jackson's Hobbit trilogy. If you enjoyed this video, like and share below.